It's Thanksgiving week. We're doing something fun. We're talking about food, because why not? But mm -hmm. Ani not only has food, she has a very special guest. Yes, I uh, commissioned a chef to make my <laughs> dish for me. Before We'll get into the, the food part of it in just a moment, but I want to introduce you to Marty Duncan. Um, you have done so many things in life. At one point, you were a Birmingham police officer. Sure was. And then you made your debut on Food Network. Yeah, there's a giant gap, though, in <laughs> between those in two there. things. Like, 20 years maybe. <laughs> how, but did you, yeah. how did you go from, uh, you've always loved to cook, right? I just always cooked. My mother cooked and you know, she cooked three meals a day and so I just always cooked. We had a fairly large family, you know, six of us, four kids. Yeah. So I helped and um, it was just something I always did. Even when I was a police officer, a lot of times we'd have parties and I would say, just come and don't bring anything and I'll do all You'll the food. Cook. How yeah. did you make the jump to television? Well, I never thought cooking would be my career, to be honest with you. I was in the wedding business for a million and one years, maybe. It's <laughs> a long um, time, A Marty. long time. And um, I was doing a project for Microsoft and this was, I don't know, in the early 2000s. And they said, listen, parties, entertaining, weddings, we get all that. But what about the food? And I said, uh, they said, we want you to do a series about parties. Ah. Um, Marty with the party. Marty and knows said, parties. My, why not Marty mm -hmm. knows parties? And I said, great idea. But what I saw as I started doing that was that what people were really interested in were the recipes. Yeah. Yes. So I kind of set parties on the side, even though I still do them. I produce them. I do weddings, things like that. But the food became my big focus. What makes a good chef versus an amateur? Obviously, there's a lot of skill and, and talent involved, but it would seem if you follow directions, it turns out well. But it, that's not the case for everybody. What's the secret? Well, um, I think professional chefs. When I went to do Food Network Star, I learned something. Mm -hmm. Get your ducks in a row, essentially. <laughs> it's mm. called mise en place, things in place. Do your prep before you start cooking. Don't start cooking and then go get things. That's how I'd always done it. That's how you, you know, things. ran to the pantry, ran to, you know, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. how I started. And then when I got on the show, I saw these professional chefs because I'm just a home cook. I've never been to culinary school Bobby or anything. Bobby Flay, Guy Fieri. Well, you, all not of them? even them. Just I'm talking about the ones that were on my season of Food Network star, the ones who worked in restaurants. Yeah. Those people. And I watched how they prepared. They got everything ready, and then they started cooking. You didn't see them running to the pantry 50 times. Mm -hmm. They'd be done, and yeah. I'm still in the pantry. That's yeah. the pro so, tip. That's yeah, a, that's that, a pro tip. it really is. We, and it's especially important for Thanksgiving right. to get all your prep done. Measure before, out the salt mm -hmm. and the pepper and yes, all of this. Everything. I'm a measure. I mean, like, m measure. Everything. And I'll say this, too. Read through the recipe, especially if it's something you only make once a year. Read through that recipe and make sure you know what you're doing. Because even don't, no experimental stuff when you we, we're going to wrap it up. Okay. But I, I, we're going to pick up where this leaves off, and you're going to introduce uh, some food to us. Oh yeah, I'd love yeah. to. I can't wait to see it. It's More so Thanksgiving fun coming up in just a few minutes.